Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will learn how to integrate AdMob in our application. This is the second part of how to integrate Google Play services and AdMob in our game. And if you haven't watched the first part, you can get the link from the top right corner and you will get the link in the description as well. So without delay, let's start the video. To integrate Google AdMob in your application, we have to go on GitHub and download some packages. This is the current version of the Google Mobile Ads. We need to download this package and import this in our application. I have downloaded this package. Now open this package inside Unity. We don't have to import the full package. I will untick the Play Services Orvo and import the package in this cave. This will take some time to import and let this package import and compile first. Do not cancel anything because if something goes wrong, your application will crash and this is a very bad feeling. Now after importing the Google AdMob, I will right click on any folder, go on Play Service Resolver, Android Resolver, then Resolve, hit OK. I have created one more script. You can find the script in the Google Play folder. First of all, we have to uncomment this code. We will do that using Ctrl A, Ctrl K and Ctrl U. Inside this script, I have three type of ad. One is Banner View, one is Interstitial and the other is Rewarded Video Ad. I have also created a bool variable that is Publishing App. And when you are publishing your app, you need to change this ID with your AdMob ID. We will see how to generate the AdMob ID later. And if Publishing App is true, this line of code will run. But now we will use the test ad to test the application. We will call these method in the start. These method will not show the ad. This will just request it from the server. And if you want to publish the app, you need to change this ID. Right now we are using the test ID, which is provided by the Google for this purpose. And we initialize the ad using the test ID. And if you are publishing your app, then this line of code will run. Else this line of code will run. To call the rewarded video ad, I have created this method and inside this I am using test ID and again if you are publishing your app, you need to change this ID to your rewarded ad ID. We will see how to create these ad ID later in this video. Now if you want to request the banner ad, you need to call this method and generally the banner ad is called only once when the game starts. There are different size of the banner view, I will use the smart banner. This will automatically adjust the size of the banner according to the screen size. And you can choose the ad position where you want to display the banner ad. Again, if we are publishing the app, this line of code will run. Else we will use the test code. To display the ad, we have to call the display banner ad method. I will call this ad in the start. Now to load the interstellar ad, we need to call this method and this will check if interstellar ad is loaded or not and if this is true, we will show the ad. And to display the rewarded video ad, you need to call the display reward ad show method. This will again check if the ad is loaded or not and if the ad is loaded, we will show the ad. Now I will drag and drop this script on this game object. And if you want to publish the app, you can make it true and change the app ID using your AdMob ID. Now let's create few more buttons to show the ad. This method will show the interstitial ad. Let's duplicate and create a new button. This button will show the rewarded video ad. Now let's quickly go to the AdMob page. These are the test ad which we have used in our application. Now let's go to the AdMob website. You need to sign in with your AdMob account. After signing in, you can click on this icon, then add app. We haven't published our app, so we will click on no. I will enter the app name here. We are building for Android, so I will select that and click on add. Now this is the app ID which you have to paste inside this. I will click on create ad unit. To create a banner ad, I will click on select. I will add the name of the banner ad and click on create ad unit. Now this is the test ID which you have to use to show the banner in your application. You need to copy this ID and paste it inside the request banner method. 
now if you want to create interstellar art you can click on select and I will write the name I will click on create now this is the interstitial art which you have to enter to show the interstitial art in your application copy it you need to paste this ID inside the request interstitial method and you have to do the same thing for the rewarded video art now before compiling this app for your Android we need to change something in the Android manifest which you can find inside the plugin folder then Android you need to click on Google mobile ad now we have to open this in editor I will drag and drop this to open this in editor now inside the Android manifest you need to change the application ID with your AdMob ID for the testing purpose we will copy and paste this ID but when you are publishing your app you need to copy this ID and paste it inside the Android value I will undo this and hit save and you have to paste the same ID inside the start method I will again undo this because we will use test ad now go on file build setting now click on build and run now let's go to my phone and see if all the ads are working or not we have called the banner ad as soon as the game start so we can see the banner ad in the bottom position now to load the interstitial ad I will click on this button nice we are able to see the interstitial ad now let's see the rewarded video ad we are able to load the rewarded video ad as well all the ad are working when you are publishing your app you just need to change the app ID with the test ID all the things are working in this game and if you have learned anything from this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel I will see you in the next video you can share the link of your Android application in the comment box and thank you so much for watching